Conservatives in one Tennessee town tried to make it illegal to be gay in public. They failed. Lawmakers in Murfreesboro, Tennessee passed a public decency ordinance in June that made a range of indecent acts illegal in public spaces, including homosexuality, alongside acts of masturbation and sexual intercourse. Critics claimed it was discriminatory because it effectively banned being gay in public. In October, the ACLU sued Murfreesboro on behalf of the Tennessee Equality Project, claiming the city passed the ordinance in part to block TEP's efforts to host Borough Pride, an annual Pride Festival. The ACLU's lawsuit accuses the city of trying to push out the LGBTQIA community, particularly drag performers. Although the city has removed the word homosexuality from the ordinance as of November 17th, the ACLU is moving forward with its lawsuit and hopes the entire ordinance will be labeled unconstitutional. After all, local officials have used the ordinance to go after the LGBTQIA community in other ways, including by targeting library books. In August, the Rutherford County Library Board used the order to pull four books with LGBTQIA themes. In October, the board introduced a library card system set to take effect next year that will restrict minors' ability to check out books supposedly not intended for their age group unless a parent decides to opt out. Now, the county is aiming to remove all books that could violate the ordinance. When in the history of the world have the people banning books been the good guys? According to the Human Rights Campaign, Tennessee has enacted at least 19 laws targeting LGBTQIA plus people since 2015. That's one of the worst records on LGBTQIA plus rights of any U.S. state.